Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. Um, I don't remember exactly what happened last time. I think we just built this corner. Looks like these elk cuts are done though. Um, it's late afternoon, but we're not at all tired. So I guess our sleeping got a bit messed up. That's kind of annoying. We have enough logs for one more wall. Hmm. I don't remember what exactly I was going to do though. Oh. Hello, bear. Who is right in front of our fucking house. Uh, 16 arrows and 3 javelins. Have an axe, knife. What are our weapon skills looking like? Our dodge is very good. Bow skill is pretty good. Axe skill is well enough. No, there's no point because we can't smoke it. So, yeah, we're just going to work on the house then. I'd love to take that bear, but if we can't smoke the meat we get from it, it's not worth it. It will mostly just go to waste. So, back to chopping down trees. have enough for two walls now once we take care of that log. And we need what? One, two, three, looks like four or five. Um, I think these are closer. nice enough that we can just sleep on the ground here. Not too concerned about it. No food on me. Apparently this all spoiled last night. Or while I wasn't watching it yesterday. down more trees basically. There's not really much to talk about here. I guess I should check the traps. But even if we have something big we have no way to preserve the extra food we would get. And I don't remember if there was really anything to trade for within like a reasonable distance. Like there was stuff to trade for but none of it was cheap enough that we could conceivably get it by just trading cuts of meat for it. So I don't think that's going to happen. I hope that bear doesn't wander too far near us though. If he does we might have to kill him, and I would rather not do that when we can't preserve the food. More than happy to have him wandering around out there for a while. Because he can't spoil if he's still walking. I guess in real life he sort of could, like a necrosis or something, but in the game he's not spoiling while he's still wandering around is what matters. What are our clothes looking like? I don't remember. Uh, we need a cap 
I think. No, we have one. We need a better cap. Otherwise, we're perfectly fine. So, that's pretty good. So, uh, two, four, six, so that's one more. Two, so we have three walls worth. That'll get. Okay, we just need six more trees. Four more trees, actually. Then we can actually start working on these walls again and get a reasonable number of them done. In case anyone was wondering, I do know that you can't shoot a javelin out of a bow. I have a habit of wielding the javelins. It's just because the javelins are easier to make and replace. I don't really mind losing those. And if I can do enough damage with those to not have to risk an arrow, I usually will. They're also heavier, which doesn't really matter that much, but. I would rather lose the javelin weight than an arrow. It's pretty much that simple. I know I'm not getting the bonus from shooting out of the bow. Well, that would be pretty impressive if you could. Can you imagine trying to shoot a, like a full javelin out of a bow? trying to like visualize that and it's just very awkward. So this should be enough for us to finish the walls and then we already have boards for the flooring. And we just need the rocks, I think. One interesting thing about the doors is you can haul pretty much anything through them. Like, I don't know what the doors are meant to look like exactly. I don't know if it's like a, a really large door. How does that sound? Um. Yeah, so the bear is taking up residence basically in our backyard. They're usually not too aggressive. And I think as soon as he saw me, he turned the other way. So I'm just going to let him go. Have no reason to chase him down yet. being a key part of that. We probably will chase after him later. Not because I don't like bears, but just because it's too much fur and food to let it go to waste. If he decides to live in the area though, he probably won't be too hard to catch. One feature I've never actually thought of, but just came to mind now while I was hauling that, is I don't think hauling stuff up a ledge, like these little ledges here, actually fatigues you more than hauling it along great straight ground or downhill. I think it probably should though, right? It makes sense to me if it did anyway. 
but lots of things make sense to me that don't make sense to other people. So, your mileage may vary. It's really hard to think of things to say when all I'm doing is pulling trees around. Okay, we're ready to drop, so... Probably a good time to stop doing what we're doing. Oh, we have boards over here, too. I think I only brought the inferior boards up there because the quality of them doesn't actually matter for the house. Sleep today. And now start carving them into logs. One cool thing about the new recording method is I don't need to remember what time I started. There's actually like a little time indicator on the command line for me. Yeah. I might have to show off how I'm recording because it actually took quite a bit of digging through documentation to figure out and get it working properly. So I need to do some work on the quality I think, but for the most part it's improved at least. But I know a lot of people probably don't have the patience to go digging through like the FFmpeg man pages and shit. And yeah, I actually did dig through the man pages a few times trying to get this working. Um, we only have four more trees, good. I'd be really happy to have this part of the cabin done, to be honest. I really don't like not having a place to smoke meat once the drying season is over. It's another thing I think about starting er in the spring. Yeah, spring is better than trying to start in summer like the game recommends because in summer you don't get the drying season. Like yeah it only lasts for a month but it's kind of an important month. Um, yeah I think I'll start working on the wall and then when we're about to pass out we'll Just stop part way through. Yeah, like so. Yeah, it was probably just a bear. Leave me alone. <laughs> I realize sleeping when I have a bear living like three feet to the northwest is probably a bad idea. Come on. Yeah, the game lags a little bit like that. It doesn't do it normally, so I think it's just because of my recording. Which makes sense. FFmpeg does use quite a bit of CPU. But it has low enough priority that the game should get it first. The um, X11 grab device that it uses though, I don't think that shares priority. I think that probably has higher priority than I wanted it to. Alright, I'll eat after I finish this wall. I 
want to get a um, pot of food, actually. So, yeah. Make... I don't normally put windows into my cabins. I don't know why, I just prefer not to. It's kind of weird, but doesn't make sense to me that the cabin would hold heat as well with windows as it does without. Which, I mean, it does say it's a shutter, so I guess it would, but eh, I'm weird. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me, so I don't do it, basically. if that bear is going to come back or if he was just passing through. I can't see his tracks from here to tell if there are any new ones. Come on, catch up game. Yeah, he hasn't come back through. Probably sit living somewhere in like the open mire to the north and just wander down for a drink or something. to having a full cabin, finally. And we're too tired to finish that wall. Oh, sorry, I didn't really... didn't realize the mouse was right there. stones we have, but I think we need like 25 or 30 for a fireplace. Once we have a fireplace though, we can stretch our firewood a lot longer and probably more to the point we can use a cooking pot if we find one. So you might be able to do that without a fireplace, I can't remember now, but I think you need a fireplace for it. Cooking pots are hard to come by though, especially if you're not near the uh, Dreek, because you can really only find them in shops, and they're expensive. Like obnoxiously expensive. It makes sense though. This should be our last wall, then what, two floor tiles? And a fireplace, I think. very close. Looks like I might have one extra log actually. Hmm. Maybe 
memory it's really low. I'm not sure why. That's why the video was so blurry last time too, by the way. The bitrate was really low and I set it to be pretty high, but it's not listening to me, apparently. So I guess I just misread a setting somewhere. I'll try to figure it out later. My biggest concern was really the frame rate. I was getting probably like 10, 15 frames a second. I don't know why, because I was trying to record at 60, and it just would not work. And when I tried to record at 30, it was even worse. Which I can't really explain. That was with Record My Desktop, though. Which, uh, as the name implies, it's made to record desktops, not gameplay. Okay. And I don't know if you saw that, but that's a floor and ceiling tile. It covers both sides. Which is handy. Should build a fence around this too. We start getting like berries or something. I've heard herbivores can actually like come by and steal food out of your bag or out of your cellar. I don't know how true that is. And honestly, it might not be a bad thing to let them. Since if I can catch them on their way there or while they're there. I could probably turn them into a meal. That sounds pretty horrible, but... Might work. Happy floors and ceilings seem to go quite a bit faster than walls, at least. So I still have a log left. Not bad. I think we had exactly enough boards. That's kind of weird. Yeah, we should have just two. carry 200 something pounds of rocks, stones, in. I find it kind of odd that the fireplace is part of the wooden building. Yeah, we need 20 more. Yeah, okay. Gather some rocks. There's our bear friend. Oh, it's late night, so our visibility is shit, basically. Are there any hills around? Hills usually have a lot of rocks. Ah. Yeah, this should do. on them rocks, but technically they're stones. I don't know what the difference is, like, in terms of what the terminology implies in real life, but the game differentiates them, so I probably should too. At least while talking about the game. Yeah, 
Yeah, hilly areas tend to have more rocks and stones, both. So that's why I was looking for a hill. Also, they tend to have fewer pine or spruce trees that block your visibility. So you can see them from farther off and not have to wander around in circles, swerving through trees all day. How many is that? 10 at 140 pounds. Alright, so. There was a merchant. They always travel in groups though, and we don't have enough to trade with them really. If you were alone, I would honestly consider checking out what he has and just trying to kill him for it. I know that's pretty cold blooded, but like seriously, their stuff is usually worth fighting for <laughs> if you can. But there's just no way I'm going to be able to fight that many of them. I know I don't really need the rock, but since I was on the tile anyway, it didn't really hurt to grab it. Just one more, I guess. And this will be the hardest one to find because of course it will. Why wouldn't it be? It'd be weird if it were easy to find a rock. Honestly, there's probably a few right near the camp, but whatever. Yeah, I know I picked up two extras. I could've gotten 10 just from right around here, but oh well. So yeah, we, I guess we just pile the stones up because there's no tools involved or anything like that. And there's our fireplace. Nothing too fancy, but works. Hmm. As for this extra log, I'm just going to use it as firewood. Fires do spread a little bit though, so I'm still going to use outside to keep most of my stuff. Oh, now the bear leaves, of course. Hmm. What are the odds I can chase this bear into the traps? Probably pretty low. Let's go for it. You're on the wrong side of the bear, me. Okay, well, we're not going to get another shot like this. So... Let's take it. Um, I think the heavier axe will be better. Not injured yet. Cut. Dodge. Okay, we 
it's bleeding. One second. Sorry, these headphones for this headset are really uncomfortable. Like, painfully so. And this episode's going a little bit long. bleeding. Zoom in. There we go. up game. I want to try to circle around him, but I guess he outsmarted me. Yeah, those are hours old. long gone. Hmm. So I guess he went into the woods, but I didn't see his tracks. Uh. Oh. I guess he didn't go into the woods. Never mind. significantly a cut in a minor puncture. That's not really much of anything.
east, but I don't know which direction it's headed. There you are. Sorry if you heard that. Like I said, these headphones are really uncomfortable. And this is a slightly longer episode, so it's actually starting to hurt quite a bit. usually don't travel too far. Same for the head. How did I strike its foreleg? That's very wrong. sure this is the only thing we caught here. Yep. I think entering from the side, yeah, gives us a straight shot to the camp. Good. Start working on the skin. Hopefully, we can start the first step. First step of tanning it. Before we go to sleep. smoking process. Why did hunger wake me? Not that hungry. go. No longer hungry. Alright, one more thing of core just to make sure we have more than enough. I would rather not run out. We should have well more than enough though. Start a fire. Maybe. How badly injured are we anyway? 
Shallow tear, that's not much. Um, we could clean it, but actually cleaning it might reopen it and have us bleeding. Which you may recognize as a bad thing. There we go. Cook, smoke. And you apparently need to keep a fire going, or at least the embers, for the smoking process to finish. Which I didn't know, I usually just kept a fire going because it was warmer. But it seems like it just pauses if you leave it to go without a fire for too long. The fruit never seems to spoil once you start the smoking process, though. Which is rather nice. Just roast these last two bits. Basically all you need for a little smokehouse. So I think I'm gonna call the episode there. I'll see you next time guys. Bye!